So while we're talking about um, PCV operation and all these things, so you've got two separate systems. You've got the PCV, positive crankcase ventilation, and that's what that is, crankcase ventilation. Okay, so um, that's one system. That's what allows a little bit of oil to get into your intake, and that oil does act as the glue for the soot. The soot is in the exhaust gases, the exhaust gases that get recirculated. So. They come back through a port in the head, out this side into the EJR cooler, that's that shiny silver box there. Through the EJR cooler, we'll just have a little chat about that. So the gases that are coming through, exhaust gases are generally anything from 300 to 500 degrees when you're driving at the temperatures they're coming through. Even light acceleration, quite moderate, the EJR valve's at least 20% open, letting those hot gases in. And then they're passing this EJR cooler, which is full of coolant, which is around about 85 degrees typically. So how cool is three or 400 degree exhaust gas is gonna drop down to momentarily going through past coolant that's 85 degrees. I'm tipping pretty damn hot still. Anyway, then it moves on and goes up into your intake. Your EGR valves, that's your valve there. So the actual tap at the bottom itself goes to the intake and it allows the gases from that EGR cooler to come up into the intake. This is your intake pipe here. So you've got your nice, cold, intercooled air that's been through a filter, and it continues on into the engine. But down here we've got the EGR system that's pumping in these hot exhaust gases. Um, so they're unfiltered, it's exhaust gases. Abrasive soot, which obviously naturally would be worse dry. Um, like dust really think of it like um, you know K&N air filter or just taking your air filter out dust going straight through that air box into your engine well that's what's happening with your exhaust gases unfiltered hot air so that's pretty much the basics of the EGR system um, just a short one I know a lot of dribble again but I hope that helps just helping you understand how it all works so the EGR system the soot that is the real enemy that's going to wear your engine that's what gets in the combustion Part of what blows past the rings is that soot on these engines in particular is what makes most of the oil, the blackening of the oil, the soot loading. Um, so that's why I think that's important to get out. But that being said, look, even a plate isn't a must. It's not needed either. There's plenty of cars running around without a plate, so it's not needed. <coughs> um, but the negative of that is obviously your intake will cake up. You can go to the catch can if you like. Um, that's not what I would do. But again, it's all personal choice. There's so wide varieties. Catch can, no catch can, um, Provent, whatever.